Hey guys, uh, on this video I'm going to show you how to dump and write or read and write this issue. This issue is from a 2005 Mazda 6 Sport, the 143 uh, brake horsepower. And uh, the reason why I'm going to do it is basically to remove the DPF maps from the ECU. Uh, someone broke down the the DPF thinking that was causing a lack of power on a car. That was not the case. So, uh, but the, the the DPF is gone now. So I'm gonna have to take the maps out. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is take this from the car. This is underneath the footwell on the passenger side. And after you take it off, you open it. And I've done on one side already. What you need to do is clean. Let me try to focus here. You need to clean this contact there. Okay. You have two sets. You have these ones here. And you have these ones here. So you, you, you need to clean both of them. I've done one side already. And I'm going to proceed with the next side now. Both uh, sides have been cleaned now, as you can see. So, now we're going to proceed with the soldering. Um, the tool we're going to use, in this case, is going to be the Piazzini. And uh, there's a few wires that need to be soldered from this 20-pin cable. Uh, so, this is what we're going to do first. Here it is, guys. Uh, all the wires have been soldered now. All we have to do now is connect the power into the actually ECU pins at the front. There's only two wires to be connected. And after that is ready to be connected to the programmer. After everything is connected to the to the tool, you open the software. Obviously this is doing the job already. Uh, in this case you select uh, SHTOXX. Then you select number 8 in there which gives you the DLL for the SH7058 and you press uh, read it's ready at the moment and you just wait after you download the program from the ECU uh, and you do whatever you need to do so I've removed the DPF already from the, the file in there I'm writing now the file back into the ECU. What you need to do is there's two little wires, these two wires in there. You need to jump two pins on the ECU to be able to write the ECU back. Yeah. Uh, all the other connections remain exactly the same. So after that, as you can see in there, so is is now writing the ECU. Okay. Um, now uh, all you have to do is wait, and uh, and that's it. That is how you uh, read and write these uh, Denso ECUs.